Rimsky-Korsakov and I agree about today's featured instrument, the French horn. He says it's soft, poetical, and full of beauty. And indeed it is. I also think it's a bit of an unsung hero with its ability to work with all sorts of instruments, and in any type of recipe. It also has the amazing ability to blend and connect the different parts of the orchestra. Rimsky-Korsakov also says that, in the lower register it is dark and brilliant, round and full in the upper. When I read that round and full in the upper, I thought, that's interesting, I'll compare it to a trumpet and see if that's right. And horn. And yes it is. What an awesome full sound it has up there. Let's check Rimsky's enticing statement of dark and brilliant compared to a trombone. Here's the trombone. And now horn. Yes, he's right again. You'll notice that the examples sound pretty good, and that's because all the instruments in this video are played by real people. I've been collecting samples from all of my talented friends. Thanks to Claude Lumley for the awesome horn parts in this video. Rimsky Korsakov also says the horn serves as a link between the brass and woodwind, and that is what we'll hear and test throughout this video. He goes on to say, The combination of a woodwind and brass instrument produces a complex resonance in which the tone of the brass predominates. This resonance is naturally more powerful than that of each instrument taken separately, but slightly sweeter than the brass instrument alone. As a rule, the addition of a wind to a brass instrument yields a finer legato effect than when the latter instrument plays alone. Okay, so let's try some combinations. Here is a French horn and clarinet. That's very nice. The combination does soften the tone. For comparison, here is the horn solo. Let's try bass clarinet and horn in a slightly lower range. That is delicious and vibrant. Here is French horn and flute. Very nice. This is a beautiful combination that Gil Evans often used, especially with the flutes in their lower register. I paid tribute to this texture in the arrangement I did of You Go To My Head, where I double two low flutes with two French horns above two trombones, tuba and bass clarinet. And now isolated with just the horns and flutes. And now, how about an alto sax with French horn? The horn is so great at smoothing out the tone and adding body to the slightly pointed alto sax. 
Let's try doubling the horn with some brass now. Here it is, adding its smooth warmth to the brighter sound of the trumpet. And now in unison with a trombone. I love how the horn adds a nice low weight to the direct sounding trombone. Let's hear what happens when we have some doublings at the octave. Here it is with the flute an octave higher. And now with the clarinet an octave up. I found that one to be less successful, not as much colour. When it's in harmony with several winds though, it sounds very colourful, just like in the Holst example at the beginning of the video. Here's a version of that sound, with a horn on the melody and flutes and clarinets above it in harmony. Let's try it with some brass now. Here it is an octave below the trumpet. And here it is an octave higher than the trombone. Wow, that's a powerful combination. That will be very useful in a big moment. Let's hear four horns in harmony. The sound of them is so rich. Hopefully it won't be too much. Wow, what an amazing sound. It has a very glue-like quality, which is what makes the horn so great at blending between different timbres. Combining that amazing bright timbre with some woodwinds would be fun. Let's have two flutes and a clarinet playing the melody and first harmony part, and two French horns playing the first harmony part and melody an octave below. What a beautiful ghostly sound. Okay, let's put the three flutes up in a slightly stronger register now, with three horns an octave below. That certainly has a lot of colour. I'll add some other woodwind colours back in now, and we'll hear how the horns can make it all stick together. I'll have two flutes up high on the melody and harmony part, a B flat clarinet and bass clarinet on the melody and octaves below, and three French horns on inner harmonies. <laughs> <laughs> 
Note that the melody isn't being played by any of the horns here. Wow, I love that sound. It's so colourful and delicious. And so you can hear all of the glue and the body the horns are adding. Here is the same example without the French horns. This sort of texture is starting to get close to something Gil Evans utilised. Here is a voicing from Blues for Pablo from Miles Ahead. The flutes are on top of the chord in their lower middle register. The open trumpets are in hats covering the upper part of the chord. Two horns are right in between the trumpets and trombones, doubling some of the inner parts. On the bass part we have a bass clarinet, bass trombone and tuba. Here is my example with a very similar voicing. It reminds me a little of a similar texture Stravinsky uses in Petrushka 1947 version where he has low trilling winds with muted trumpets and horns right in the middle of the chord. Here's a beautiful Gil Evans texture from his arrangement of My Ship. This time a horn is on the melody, sharing it with a flute. A bass clarinet and trombone play the melody an octave below. Trombones are on the inner harmony parts and bass clarinet and tuba are on the root note. Here it is in my example. Before I really test the blending capabilities of the horn, I'll just try it with some brass. Rimsky Korsakov says of the horn and brass, Duplication in the brass group is most frequently affected by placing a chord for horns side by side with the same chord written for trumpets or trombones. The soft round quality of the horn intensifies the tone and moderates the penetrating timbre of the trumpets and trombones. Here is the sound of four trumpets in harmony with four trombones. It sounds pretty awesome like that already. Now let's add three horns on the inner parts. Wow, I love the way horns make that all so nice and smooth, and it does intensify the tone. Ok, we've heard how the horn can bring different sounds together, but let's really test the blending capabilities now. I'll try various instruments in different octaves, and then add the French horn to see if it can make a successful sound out of the combination. Let's have a flute an octave above the trombone. Now let's add the horn at the same octave as the trombone.
I think it does help to blend the sound, but it's not entirely successful. I'll try it with the horn between the flute and trombone on an inner harmony part, and see if that helps. Wow, that was interesting. I think it would be hard to make this balance work in an acoustic situation, but it was quite fun. Now we'll try a flute and bass clarinet two octaves apart. And now with a horn in the middle octave. Yes, that certainly helps the blend. Before it was quite exciting with a horn on a different pitch. I'll expand on that now with a flute on the melody up high, a low bass line on the bass clarinet and an inner harmony part on the horn. Wow, that is a unique texture, but the range is a bit too far apart to be of use. I'll try it with all four horns in the middle, including a horn on the melody, seeing if that helps to bring it all together. That is so tasty, the horns absolutely bring that all together, and it's so colourful. I feel like a little more filling in on the melody an octave below the flute would cap it off. But it could be almost any instrument and it would work, thanks to the horns. Let's try a trumpet on the melody an octave below the flute. Yes, that's nice. Okay, for our last example, I'll try a flute and baritone sax. Baritone saxes have a nice grunty quality. Here they are, an octave apart. Now let's add the horn in there, on the same line as the Barry sax. It's amazing the sheer amount of warmth and weight the horn adds each time. Well that's the end. Thank you so much to the players, Claude, Hannah, Frederick, Gabriel and Patricio. If you'd like to support this work and hear more instruments then visit my coffee page, link in the description. And if you have a dream combination that you haven't heard yet, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do.